Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to another amazing read. Go grab your stuffy. Let's do this. I have a question for you, my friends. If you could build your own house, like you could design it and decide what the house was going to look like, what kind of house would you build? The title of our book today says, If I Build a House by Chris Van Dussen. Let's get into this read. Jack, in the backyard, said to his mother, This house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy, boring, and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or dome, but I'll focus on what makes a building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-all kitchen or mat you don't have to cook and you don't have to clean it's done by a space age robotic machine wow it makes all the meals and the food is delish <laughs> i like that word and the food is delish then it washes and puts away every last dish the living room's next. It's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the table and sofa all spin. And trampolines lead to a giant ball pit. It's a pretty neat room, you have to admit. We do, we do. <laughs> <laughs> now look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean, even the places that you've never seen. And here is my bedroom, way up in the sky, on top of a tower 200 feet high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in a tower? Now, that's something new. That is true. That really looks cool. The rooms we walked through just moments before are the kinds that you'll find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'd add a few more. So hop on the slide. It's time to explore. You know how I constantly like to create? Well, this is my art room. Isn't it great? You draw on the wall, don't worry, it's cool. Hung way up high on a big giant spool is a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw till you're done, then pull down some more. I love it. <laughs> Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you float off the ground. Then flap like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity. That's pretty rare. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. Whoa! You fly and you flip and you sleep and you zoom. You have to admit, it's a wonderful room. There's lots of rhyme in here. Inside, ride, around, sound, zoom, room. Well, pay attention, you might find all the rhymes. <laughs> A room filled with water. Now that's something new. But if I build a house, that's just what I'd do. This is my fish tank room. Ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly. The critters won't bite. 
just strap on an air mask to swim with the fishes. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. I found another rhyme, fishes, wishes. <laughs> of course, I've been saving the best room for last. And literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down. I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detached. You fly it around. Why, it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. My house will be nifty. My house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Daringly bold, yet exquisitely fine. A must-see example of modern design. My house will be held as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that's just what I'd do. Wow. The end. Well, now you have a lot of ideas about what a house would look like. What kind of house would you build if you built a house? Well, I hope you have time. Grab a piece of paper. Start drawing, my friends. Start drawing and designing. And maybe one day, because dreams do come true, I sincerely believe you will have the house of your dreams. And make sure it's also a home. Well, thank you for spending your time reading with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next time, who's amazing? You, my friends, you are so amazing. And keep on reading.